Hey guys, today I am building yet again another modern family home. It comes with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. The inspiration for this house came from Instagram where I kept seeing it on my explore page and since I like it, I thought why not build it in The Sims. Of course, it's not exactly the same, but I tried adding parts of the house that I thought um, that would look good in The Sims and the parts that I thought that I really liked the most. I also had to cut out most of the roofing from the speed build as you'll see in a minute since it just took s such a long time and I don't think it'll be very interesting to watch like five minutes of me building a roof. The pool in the back garden had to be changed since during my playtesting my sims weren't able to use it so I just raised it up on a foundation which actually made it look a lot more better and it actually works this time. I also added a tree house in the back garden from growing together but it didn't work um, even though I tried to like change where it was and like adjust it to make it work it still doesn't work but I still left it in the back garden in case anyone wants to like try it or if they want to like um, change the position of it or if they want to move it somewhere else so that they can make it work but when I was trying to move it around and play test it my sims were just like ignoring the activity which was really weird and yeah so so far the most of the exterior of the house is done and I'm just trying to think about what kind of um, wall height I wanted but I think I ended up going with um, both of the wall heights to be medium even the bottom and top one I really like the way this house has like a lot of peaked roofs but like the roofing is done in like a very modern way and later on you'll see how I used um windows from the high school years where you can like jump out of it obviously it wouldn't work it wouldn't be functional because i used the windows on like the the top floors and like in ways that um, sims wouldn't be able to jump out of it but i just like the way it looked because like in the sims there's not really a window that has like a cross or like some sort of like detail in the window so yeah i just use those to make it more interesting I was also struggling a lot with trying to find windows that would work with this house because I wanted something that had a cross on it but there was nothing like that either there was too many crosses or there was no crosses and it was just really annoying and this back the back part of the house is actually really interesting I really like how this part of the roof just extends out and it acts like support for the balcony uh, I thought that was really interesting and I was trying to find some sort of um, column that would work well here but these seem to be the best and I guess these made sense since I did use these in the front of the house as well and I made the bottom ones white and I made the top ones black I don't know I just thought the contrast would be interesting and I used the exact same color scheme and windows as I did at the front of the house because I just I didn't know what else I could do to make it look more interesting. If you guys are liking the video so far, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I have plenty of videos like this and you are very welcome to watch any that you like. And you can also download my build on the gallery. My name is Tanzel with two A's. Another thing I really liked about this house was that there was a lot of hills and a lot of terrain manipulation since the house wasn't just on flat ground it was sort of like on a mountain but it wasn't it was kind of like slanted so if you actually pay attention you can see that half the house is kind of like going like towards like a slope is going downwards and to make it seem natural i kind of just like blended in the edges of the hill so that it looks natural even though it still doesn't because the rest of the world around it is really flat which i feel like sims should make small lots that have maybe like hillsides or like um i wish we had like lots where it was like on top of mountains that was slanted it will make building houses like this so much easier but yeah maybe in the future so i tried to match these two roofs up and it just didn't end up working so i decided to change the back the um, the roof that's facing the back of the garden into like a 
glass I guess so that there's like natural light going into the um, room and that room actually turned out to be a bedroom which was very convenient for that um, the glass roof I also included an alternative entrance to the house through the garage area also the garage space I didn't actually use it as a garage I just instead added sims activities in there such as like crafting and painting because I just thought it would have been a waste of space to just add like an empty car there because it wouldn't have been functional. Here I'm just trying to pick out um, what kind of rocks I wanted to use for this house. There was several different options but um, I ended up going with one of the ones that came from Snowy Escape because they were really nice and I actually had to size it down using the tool mod and I just I had to skip through the video here because it was taking so long to just um, place everything and I actually used a lot of these dead like I don't know what they're called they're not flowers but they're like the wheat um, flower things I don't even know what they're called but I, I use those a lot and I actually end up changing that towards the end because it it looked like the the house it, it just didn't like really complement the house very well it looked like the plants looked really dead so I added colored flowers instead towards the end which I don't think I recorded it and I also added a lot of those small grass grassy things around the house and the iron railing which I thought looked really nice I added a mailbox next to the house placed on the wall and I also added bins next to the driveway but like towards the outside of the driveway it's not really close to the house so you sims have to walk there i also added these um drainage pipes or not drainage but like gutter pipes i don't even know what they're called but yeah i feel like that adds to the realism of the house i think that's a really nice um item moving on to the inside i just added these saucer lights everywhere just to like provide lighting I was actually supposed to change those but I kind of completely forgot but they are like the most convenient light to use because they provide the most light I guess and yeah here is the um, the balcony I was talking about I really like that it's really like spacious and I didn't limit that to one room so anyone in the house can just go in that balcony which I think is a nice thing to do I don't think yeah I think it's fine here I tried, I tried to make the stairs more interesting by adding a platform but nothing was working so I actually just ended up making double stairs that just lead up to the, that just lead up to the second floor. I didn't really bother with the platforms again because they just weren't working. Also working on a hill is so annoying because nearly no item works properly when you place things on like a hill so like that swimming pool that I was mentioning earlier um, just because it's on a hill it wasn't working properly so I had to like change it and add a foundation so that it worked and that the growing together tree house that didn't work either and a couple other things weren't working properly when it's built on a hill which is really weird I don't know why that happened but it just, it just does and I also actually changed the position of that stairs I make it double and I change its rotation so that it's facing towards the master bedroom rather than the bedroom that is facing towards the garage because uh, I think it lined up better when you enter the house and I wanted to add the dining table under the stairs so yeah because the way it is right now that's where the dining table is supposed to be or close to it at least and I couldn't do that if I wanted the dining table where that is. I also used the um, the wooden flooring that came from Eco Lifestyle, but I ended up changing this color. I really wanted to keep this like chestnut sort of color, but I ended up turning it into the beigey sort of natural wood tone because it kind of matched the house more. It, it really did match these island of encounters way more and I tried to make this kitchen more interesting than usual rather than just adding counters and an island so I made this double islands I guess something like that I just made it like thicker because I wanted to add a 
I wanted to add like some appliances into the island counter rather than just like in a straight line. I also forgot to add a um, fridge in the speed build but I eventually went back and changed it. I just added a regular fridge on the left hand side of the kitchen and I made like a special place for the coffee machine I guess since it's like off to the side it's not really connected to the kitchen which I really like I think it makes the kitchen look more interesting I also added a dishwasher which I don't usually do I don't know why I think I just forget to add one and I'm, now I'm just adding some clutter but I did not add a lot of clutter also yeah I just I don't I don't know I just don't like using a lot of clutter I like it when it's like more clean and sleek here I'm just adding some bar stools I mean I don't even know why I added those those aren't my favorites but you know they work they're fine they're, they're decent as long as it's like matching with the um, house I'm fine with it also I added that oven on the wall I know it's not functional I think it's not functional but I just wanted it there but it doesn't matter if it's functional or not because I already added an oven onto the island so it's fine um, here I just made like some sort of like entrance way I don't know like usually in like entrance places you have um, a place to like store all of your items like when you come in and out of the house so I just thought I could do the same thing but I eventually changed that room and I actually turned that into a um, downstairs bathroom because I noticed that the laundry the room with the laundry should have been the bathroom but instead um, I, I just kept it that and I just added the bathroom onto the other side of the house and I didn't want to remove the laundry because I feel like the laundry room because I feel like it looked really nice so I just kept it and I made like a little library here because from the exterior the house looks really nice but from the interior there's so many like small little spaces that you have to like think about how you're gonna fill it up which was quite difficult actually I usually try to make my houses really like when I make the walls really like straight and flat rather than having like so many gaps in between so that I avoid the issue when it comes to interior designing but here I mean it kind of worked out it, was, it looks fine and since the living room is here it was kind of convenient to have a library here or maybe it's not because when you're listening to TV like what if someone's listening to TV and then you're reading a book it doesn't really make sense but this is a sim so it's fine and yeah here I'm just playing around with the wallpaper and I added a lot of blue accents to where there's like dips within the walls which I think made the house look way more interesting than it was if I just left it all like white I tried to add so many different like colors into this house like I tried to use items that I didn't I never used before because I feel like I always repeat my designs and stuff so that armchair at the entrance of the house I don't usually use that so since I use that now it's kind of like you know unique to my build and here is the bathroom I was mentioning earlier I made the I made like a very simple bathroom here and I use the dream home decorator door that I use in pretty much every single build now and these rooms I realized were way too big so I just divided them both into like two different rooms and the one that's facing towards the garden, I actually turned that into a gym and um, a like an art area, I guess, so that you can, there's like a bunch of easels and your sims can paint in there. And I made sure I, there was like easels in like specific rooms as well. I don't know, just like to add some sort of like skill building items in people's rooms. Here's just like a regular bathroom, nothing special. And uh, yeah, I just, made like a very simple bathroom there's nothing really special to see here i did want to i didn't want to make it very cluttered so i just left it as it is and i just added my typical flower in the corner next to the bathtub and I'm, now i'm just trying to find a proper painting and i saw this one and i thought it was interesting and i really wanted to add it near the entrance of the house so i just kept it on the wall and then i eventually move it over above the plant and now I am adding the flooring for the bathroom I like that flooring a lot actually and I, I, I don't actually use it a lot and now that I used it it's kind of good I'm gonna start using that a lot more now 
and the nursery wasn't actually here when I first started building. It was actually um, on the right hand side of the house. But then I decided that it would be way more convenient to put it in this room since it's closer to the master bedroom so that when the baby cries or needs attention the baby um, the parents can easily like go to them I guess and I, I tried to make this room interesting even though I like simplicity I wanted to make sure that the child's room wasn't as boring as I usually do my nurseries so I added like a lot of clutter and a lot of different um, pictures and stickers on the walls I tried to make it look like it was very child friendly I added these um, cupboard thingies from Dream Home Decorator and I just added clutter on top of it and I added some clothing I wish we actually had like hanging clothing for children because I feel like that would look so much better and there I go with the blue accented walls again and here is where I just added like a bunch of small pictures and stickers to make it look nicer and I just added like a little toy I guess near the rocking chair which I don't know why I did that I don't think that's even functional but it works it's okay I just moved the saucer light on top of the I don't even know if that's a light I think it's just a fake a fake a fake light but I, I moved the saucer light on top of it so that you can't really so so the saucer light is not really obvious but it's still there because it will provide a lot of light and here I was having a lot of trouble with that roofing and I just changed it yeah I, I changed that roofing a lot because it wasn't working properly I don't know why that happens as well in the sims that's really annoying you have to like adjust the roofing to make sure it doesn't like interfere with the wall I had a lot of problems with that with this house but I eventually fixed it I don't know how but I just made like a bunch of rooms and hope they disappeared <laughs> honestly I don't know where they were going but it, uh, it worked out and yeah here is where I put the toilet paper before the toilet which is very clever and I think I just did my typical um, floating floating vanity no it's not vanity like a floating sink design I guess I, I do that in every single build just added the base game Owl rack I guess yeah and the same bathroom flooring that I'm using throughout the house because I like when there's consistency I added some I guess some decor items like candles just like clutter to fill up the space and I'm trying to look for the um, growing together wall lighting because I really like that and I, now I use that in like pretty much every single build as well which I really really like I try to add it in places where you can't really see it. Yeah. I, now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I added some seating in the front of the house. Like maybe like a little seat that like was towards the wall. But I guess, yeah, maybe I could just add that later on. I wanted to fill up the master bathroom by adding those seats in the middle. I don't know if it worked well or not, but yeah you guys can let me know if you like that or not just adding a plant in the bathroom and i remember yeah i remember i added towels here not towels yeah they are towels just wrapped up towels and then i don't remember which bath bedroom this is i think this was the master bedroom because this was the biggest one and i couldn't find a side table that was appropriate for it so I use the floating um, counters that are from the kitchen pack. So yeah, I came back here because I forgot to fill up this bedroom, but then we'll go back to the master bedroom in a bit. I'm just adding some stuff in this room, like a desk, I think. I added a desk in here and I added an easel and a mirror, I think. That's pretty much all I added in this room. Oh yeah, and a, um, what are they called? A bookshelf, yeah. Cause like I don't really know how to furnish bedrooms properly like I don't know they just even though I furnish them I'm never happy with them they don't I feel like something is always missing like it doesn't work right sometimes I feel like the spaces I sometimes the way I lay out my bedroom are just really weird I don't know I'm trying to improve on that but yeah back to the master bedroom 
Here, I just added the, um, what are they called? Why am I forgetting everything today? The, uh, what are they called? What is that called? The fireplace, yeah. I had the fireplace in the master bedroom because the fireplace like chimney bit was there. So I was like, so I felt like that was really appropriate. Here I, is where I thought like, yeah, I needed to use those kitchen island counter, whatever the hell, not island, the kitchen counter floating bits as like um, side tables. Cause I feel like they actually look really nice. I wish there was actually like an item that looked like that. Cause I feel like that would be really nice. And yeah, I just tried to make this room seem more interesting. I really do like those bedside table lamps that came with growing together. They're really, really good. And yeah, I think I left the build pretty much like this. I don't even remember what. I remember I added something on top of the bedroom. Yeah, I added those lights again and I added a painting in the middle. I don't know, I thought that was interesting. I liked that painting a lot from Dream Home Decorator, but I didn't know where to put it, so I just put it in the, um, what would you even call that, like the hall, the upstairs hall, I guess. I also added a, um, a computer in the master bedroom. I don't know, I, I just wanted to fill up the space because I was like, what else can I put here? And then I messed up with, I messed up my Better Build and Buy mod, um, what is that called? Like the, the, the buttons, I don't know, I just pressed some random buttons, so I was fixing that. And then I added some more of those growing together lights everywhere literally everywhere and then i came back to fixing this part because um as you can see now um i'm adjusting the front of the house where the ha some of the trees were way too big in the front there's literally only two trees but they were too big and i, I was getting rid of some of the dead shrubs or leaves or whatever they're called because i felt like they weren't really working well in this house and as you can see those there's a i incorporated way more colored uh, flowers into the house because i thought that looked way more nicer and yeah that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching i, f I hope you guys have a great day and here are the screenshots for the house and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another build goodbye